We are now back live. Okay, we're back on the record on CR 22211623, State of Idaho versus Chad Guy Daybell. We just concluded our lunch recess, and I believe we're ready to have the jurors return for another witness. Is the state ready to proceed? We are, Your Honor. All right, is the defense ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. All right, thank you, counsel. We'll go ahead and have the jurors brought back, please. Waiting for the all right. honor rise. All right, thank you. Please be seated. Okay, we're back on the record. The state can call its next witness. Your Honor, the state would call Hannah Munoz. All right, the witness has been sworn before we proceed with testimony because there's an exclusionary order and the court has live streamed this trial as well as had open proceedings for the trial. I'll inquire of the witness. Have you been observing or watched any of the trial testimony since the case started? No. Okay. Have you talked to anybody else about testimony they've given in trial? No. Okay. With that, then, Mr. Wixom, you can inquire on direct. Thank you, Your Honor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good afternoon, Ms. Munoz. Will you please state and spell your full name for the record? Uh, yes, it's Hannah Nicole Parker, H-A-N-N-A-H, -H, uh, Nicole N-I-C-O-L-E, -E, Parker, P-A-R-K-E-R. -E and do you want me to refer to you as Ms. Munoz or Ms. Parker? Uh, Ms. Munoz. Thank you. Can you uh, tell us where do you live? I live in Vineyard, Utah. Where is that in Utah for the sake of the jury? Explain that to the police. Um, it's about 45 minutes south of Salt Lake. Okay. And is that anywhere near Springville, Utah? Yes, it's about 15 minutes from Springville. Where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in Springville. And what do you do for work? I apologize. Could I have you kind of pull the mic down and just talk right into it? It doesn't pick up very well unless you talk yes. into it. Thank you. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a freelance photographer. Are you related to Tammy Daybill? Yes. How are you related to her? Uh, she's my mom's cousin, so my second cousin. Would that be your mom's first cousin? Yes. Okay. I want to draw your attention back to October 19th of 2019. Did you that day learn of Tammy's passing? Uh, yes. How did you learn about it? Um, I was with my mom, and she received a phone call and then told me about it after. What was your reaction to hearing that she passed? Um, I was very saddened by the news um, and very confused and uh, just overall very sad. I'd like to back up a little bit. Can you explain to the jury how, how often, if at all, did you have contact with Tammy um, during your childhood? Um, I didn't uh, know Tammy super well. Like we saw her at family events, um, but I was younger. So I was like playing with her kids. Um, but yeah, we would see them at family activities. So you, you learned of her passing. Did you have occasion to attend her funeral? Yes, I did. The best you can recall, when was her funeral relative to her passing? Um, it was a week after her passing-ish. You think, okay. Yeah. Did you also attend a viewing? Yes, I did. 
And where was the viewing at? Um, it was at a church house in Springville. Is that the same place the funeral was held? Yes. Right. When you went to the viewing, uh, did you go by yourself or did you go with anybody else? Um, I went with my sister and then I met family at the viewing. What other family did you meet at the viewing? Um, I had my grandparents there, some aunts and uncles, and then my mom and dad came later. Did you have the opportunity while at that viewing to go through the, the viewing line? Yes, I did. How many times do you recall going through it that night? I went through twice. Who did you go through with the first time? Uh, I went through with my dad, Lindsey Parker, first. And do you recall, was uh, Chad Daybell in the viewing line? Yes. Relative to where Chad was, did were there any of the Daybell children that were also in the line? Uh, yes. Where were they at relative to where Chad was at in the line? Um, Chad was first in line, and then there was the casket, so he was at the head. Um, and then the kids were at her feet, um, about six feet away from Chad. Based on your own perception, do you think that any conversation that you may have had with Chad in that moment would have been uh, heard or been able to have been heard by the children? Uh, no. So when you were in the line with your dad, did the two of you have a conversation with Mr. Daybell? Yes. And can you explain to the jury the nature of that conversation? Yeah. Um, so my dad asked him what had happened um, that said that he was confused. Judge, I'm going to object. There's levels of hearsay here. Well, if they're, Mr. Rickson, if they're soliciting comments of the defendant uh, would be an exception. If their comments of the father would be hearsay. So I'm not sure where the witness is going with this. Maybe you can direct the witness to avoid that hearsay. I will, Your Honor. Thank you. So I'm just, just in context of what Chad may have said in that conversation, can you explain to the jury um, what you first remember him saying about anything? Yeah, he said that um, Tammy had been sick that day. Um, he said that um, she had been uh, vomiting and coughing. Um, and then around uh, 10 p.m., she had vomited again and then came to his office and said that she was feeling a little bit better. Um, and he said that she would, uh, was going to bed and that he stayed in his office working. And then around 1 a.m., he went upstairs um, and found Tammy uh, on the floor. And he said that she had uh, rolled out of the bed and was on the floor and that he found her cold and um, already passed. So that was a lot of information. Just for clarity, I'm going to ask some follow-up. So when you said he described this, was he talking about the night that she passed? Yes. Okay. I think you said that she came to him at 10 o'clock. Is that right? Yes. What time do you remember, if at all, that he said that Tammy went to bed that night? Um, he said Tammy went to bed around 10. And what time was it that you said he, he finally went to bed himself? Around 1 a.m. And when was it that he said that he found Tammy on the floor passed away? Around 1 a.m. So he was, is there any question in your mind that that's precisely what he said? No. During that interaction with him, did you observe anything about his uh, tone or demeanor? Um, yes. What did you notice? Um, I noticed that he seemed calmer than I would have expected um, and that he would get emotional only when my dad would get emotional and then would stop like once my dad stopped crying. Why did that stand out to you? Um, it stood out to me because I would have expected someone who just lost their partner to be a little more distraught. Um, and he seemed calmer than I would have expected him to be. And in fact, are you married? Yes. Okay. Now, later that evening, you, you said, I think earlier that you'd also went through the line with your mother. Yes. About how long after the time you went through with your dad, did you also go through the line with your mother? About two hours. Could you please just explain to the jury your experience when you went through the line with your mother? Yes. Um, so uh, they were talking and uh, Chad was telling us what happened. 
and uh, he said that she had been coughing that day um, and that um, she'd been coughing pretty violently. So he was worried about her. Um, between nine and 10, she came down to his office and said that she was going to uh, rest and go to bed. Uh, he said that he was worried about her, so he went to bed at the same time. And then at around midnight, he woke up to her rolling out of bed and hitting the floor. Uh, he said that he went to check on her and um, had found that she had passed. What was your re immediate reaction when you heard that account of things? Um, I was confused at first. Why? Um, because it was inconsistent with what I had heard earlier that evening. Did you say anything um, at that time? Uh, no. Did you ask Chad any questions about the explanations at the time? No. Why not? Um, I was confused and uh, I also didn't feel comfortable. The conversation was being had between Chad and my parents. So without saying anything that she may have said in response, did you later explain this difference to your mother? Yes. And to anybody else? Um, to my mom and then later to uh, Samantha. When did you first explain it to your mom? Uh, that night after the viewing. No, no, I don't have any more questions for this witness at this time. All right. Cross-examination, Mr. Pryor. Yep. Good afternoon. Ma'am, um, this information, did you ever give a report to law enforcement? Uh, yes. When did you do that? Um, in August of 2020. Have you spoken to anybody else since August of 2020 about this in terms of law enforcement? Um, I've met with investigators a few times. How many times? Uh, twice. Okay. Do you recall when those were? Uh, I don't. Okay. Did you talk to the prosecuting attorney before you decided to testify today? Yes. Okay. How often did, how long did you, when did you meet with the prosecuting attorney? Um, I met with him once about a month ago um, and then this morning. And which prosecutor did you meet with? Uh, Rocky. Rocky. Do you know Rocky? Um, outside of court proceedings, no. Okay. Now, your testimony is that um, at midnight, Tammy um, uh, went downstairs to um, check on Chad in his office. Is that right? Objection misstates the testimony. Stained. Did you mention about him going downstairs to meet with Tammy going downstairs to meet with, with Chad at any point? Uh, yes. Okay. And what did you make reference to? Um when I was talking to Chad with my father, yeah. um, he said that Tammy had gone down to say that she uh, had thrown up and was feeling a little better and then was going to bed. Okay. Um, okay. So Tammy was upstairs in her bedroom and then she went downstairs to go into an office to talk to Chad. Is that what you understood? Yes. Okay. Are you aware that this is a one-story home, ma'am? Um, no, I've never been to their home. Okay. And then after, again, when you were in the line with your mother and you mentioned something about going downstairs, which downstairs were we going to? Um, again, I haven't been to their home. Okay. Nothing else, Judge. Thank you. Thank you. Any redirect? Ma'am, is there any question in your mind that you 
testified as accurately as you possibly can today. Judge, I'm going to object. It goes beyond uh, cross examination. Well, I'll I'll sustain. I think that's actually an improper question. You can ask a different question if you like, Mr. Wixom. Sure. Um, when we heard Mr. Daybill explain the events with your dad, uh, did your dad ask him anything about the layout of the home? No. Did you ask him anything? No. Are you? Uh, do you doubt at all that he said that he? Judge, I'm going to eject. He's trying. He's trying to bolster the witness. It's inappropriate. Well, I'll let you finish the question, Mr. Wixom, and then I'll rule. Thank you. Is there any question in your mind that what Chad said to your dad was that Tammy had went downstairs? No. No further questions, Your Honor. Okay. That will conclude the testimony then of Ms. Munoz. Is she going to be recalled potentially by either side? Not by the state, Your Honor. Not by the defense judge. Thank you. Okay. If you're here under any subpoena, you're released from the subpoena. Thank you for appearing and testifying today. You can be excused. Thank you.